All these years, I've been coming down to Jamaica, bombing them with dust. So finally, one of Jamaica's own decided to step up and come here so we can discuss Sabbath Day. That's wonderful. I think that's a very good thing. As Evans, I hope you coming here motivate some of the Jamaican associates here. You fellas that believe in women, preachers, divorce, and remarrying, father, son, and Holy Ghost, baptism, and uh, this get rich scheme that's here in Jamaica. Perhaps Pastor Evans is the start of something good. I hope so. I hope that you preachers in Jamaica will use him as an example and come every time that I'm in your island. In fact, I'll even make an early trip. You can't make August convention, a summer youth conference. I have a very busy schedule. I travel around the world, but I fly in here just for one day to take on any preacher that's in Jamaica. And then I'll go back to America living happily ever after. But I hope Brother Evans and being here motivate you other preachers. You don't have nothing to be afraid of. We won't, we won't kill you. We won't physically beat you. But we just want to take what you believe to the Bible and let the Bible talk. So we're going to give Pastor Evans some time to relate to you that are here and to you that are listening live and to you that are watching. We're going to give Brother Evans some time to state his case because there's a lot of Sabbath day believers really don't know what First Church believe. They really don't. They hear bits and pieces of what we say over the air or they go by what others say. So many really don't know what we believe touching the Sabbath. So I'm going to sit back and listen attentively, and I don't want no one to interrupt. We want to give our brother proper respect and give him some time. No interruptions whatsoever. We don't want no smart remarks to say. We want to hear him. I want to hear him. So I'm going to get out the way and take my seat, turn the microphone over to Pastor Evan. Brothers and sisters, Pastor Evan. I'm very thankful to be here today, and I give thanks unto Almighty God. And I agree with first church. But what God? And my honor and my praise and thanks give is unto him. I'll take time out to greet uh, the prophet and all his ministers and members of the first church. And I am very happy that you are here this island. I hope you all have some good after salvation. Go step right through. Yes. And you notice I do not talk much. I do not talk much when I was on the platform because I don't believe in doing much talking with some people. Okay? Now, I let me put a little lay a foundation why I'm here today. I remember some years ago. I was watching the other station and I saw this preacher and I saw it for two weeks and then the other week when I go back it was not there and I said what is this? It's a preacher like me. Yeah, it's a preacher like me. Well I have to say that because I know me before I know him. <laughs> I couldn't be a preacher like him. He would have to be a preacher like me. Yes, and so I have listened for many times when I have the chance but I don't have the chance every Sunday. But I've listened, and I've listened to him giving challenges lots of times. And he said he would take on anybody. And he says that the first church preaches the truth. I would beg to differ. While I would love the first church, that you have got the baptism right. You have got the Lord's Supper right. You have got the covering of the heads and the length of the dress right. But what really motivated me to be here today, I have seen the prophet in the state of us, who did not know the true baptism, and Aquila and Priscilla had was no, you know, correct I have also seen in the state of Moses, who Jethro had was no, said, listen, prophet, you're doing a good deal, but listen, you're, you're, you're falling short. Now, the crux of the matter is that I heard him make a statement, and that statement, don't drop off your seats now, is totally blasphemous. Don't sit down, don't turn the stone. And so when I see issue one, issue one, issue one, issue, I said, all right, let me see if they will accommodate me. And here I am today. <laughs> Tell you what you mean. Praise the name of God. Now I can take this thing from anyway, but I'm going to take it from a particular way as we're in the settings. I'll tell you off the bat. I am not here to and with a man that loves the true stones. But what I would like to see is that the rest of the teaching that the first church lacks, they will finally come to the full measure of the statue of the fullness of Christ. Hello, someone. So I start you off with Jeremiah 31, 31 to 33. Where the scripture said, I love to run in fast, fast movements. <laughs> Behold the day's comet, said the Lord. Jeremiah chapter 31, and we start at verse 31. Behold the days come, saith the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt. 
which my covenant they break, although I was an husband unto them, saith the Lord. Verse 33. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. And after those days, saith the Lord, I will put my law in their inward parts and write them in their hearts and will be their God and they shall be my people. Okay, I'm going to do less explanation at this point. I'm just going to sort of let it flow freely because I think time is of the essence. Now, based upon what we have just read, and listen, here's something I like about the prophet. He's a man that believes the Bible. And I am going to make a bold statement. The only way First Church don't accept this message today, two reasons it could be. One, you don't believe the Bible. And two, you don't have a life conscience. Only upon those two grounds, I tell you, that you will not accept this message today. So Jeremiah 31 onward, it tells you that God said that he was he's going to make a new covenant. And that new covenant entails the writing of the laws of God in the hearts of the people of God. I hear our announcer made a mistake. Let me correct it. That I believe in the keeping of the Sabbath as it was in the Old Testament. I don't. We don't. But I, I, well, let me, let me go on to Isaiah 42, 21. Quickly. Isaiah chapter 42 and at verse 21. The Lord is well pleased for his righteousness sake. He will magnify the law and make it honorable. Okay. The Lord is well pleased for his righteousness. He will magnify the law and make it honorable. You are educated. And I'm going to assume that you're not educated. You are all educated people. And I think you understand clearly what the word magnify means. It means to make it big, to make it broad, and humongous. And uh, to correct you, my dear sir, the, 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 the keeping of the Sabbath in this day is more pungent and demanding than it was in, that, in those days because of the magnification of it. And so I tell you that I would like our dear prophet to answer. One, I, I think you should get something right now, man. You can time me. You can time me and tell me how much time I have to, to do what I am doing. And draw my jacket tail if you have to. I don't feel no way. Yes. When was the law magnified? And when was it written upon the arts of the people of God? Okay. Now, the, the prophets and the apostles all spoke about the law. Jesus himself spoke about the law. But I, I, I just want to use, it is so huge that I have this, I'm kind of vacillating. It is huge that I don't know, I am just kind of, you know, going around to see where I go. Let's go to First John 3 verse 4. That's what you have to. First John 3 verse 4. Whosoever therefore committed sin, transgresses also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Of the law. My brethren, and we both are the brethren. But you are my brethren now, because you don't accept the commandments. Bless the name of Jesus. Amen? If ever there is sin in the land, if ever there is an action or an act that any man can commit, and if it's called sin, it is because the law points you to what is sin. And the scripture says, whosoever committed sin, transgressed also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. Uh, let me move on to oh Lord, Romans 2, 13. And hold on, before you give Romans 2, 13, let me, let me hear your foundation. Listen. Sit down, good prophet. Do you understand the Jamaican language? To some extent. Alright, sit down, good prophet. I, I, am, I am here to explain Romans 10. For Christ is the end of the law. For righteousness to everyone that believes. I am here to explain Galatians 5 4. Whosoever of you are justified by the law, you are fallen from grace. Galatians 3 10, Galatians 3 19, Galatians 2 11 1 13. I am here to explain them all. Ephesians 2 14. Listen. Give me 2 Corinthians 2, 4. Let me explain to you where I stand, where the word of God is concerned. 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and at verse 4. For out of much affliction and anguish of heart, I wrote unto you with many tears. Not that ye should be grieved, but that ye might know the love which I have more abundantly unto you. Give me, give me 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and at verse 4. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but a demonstration of the spirit and of power. That your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. I wonder if you can swallow that. My preaching is not with enticing words of men's wisdom, but by the power of God. I want the verse that says that we have, verse two, we have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, 
not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of God deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of Almighty God. And so, we can go on to Romans 2, 13. Romans chapter 2 and verse 13. For the hearers of the law are just... No, 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 no. For not, for not the hearers of the law Thank you. are just before God, yes. but the doers of the law shall be justified. Okay. Now, here is the scripture telling us that the, not the hearers of the law are just before God, the law, but the doer of the law shall be justified. Now, uh, well, maybe I did not go there at the moment, but I just want to read some more. Romans 2, now verse 14. Yeah, 12, 4, 15. 15. For when the Gentiles, which have not the law, do by nature the things contained oh, in the law. Hold it. The Gentile, that is us, who have not the law, were not taught. It wasn't our culture. When we do by nature the things of the law, these having not the law are a law unto themselves. Read the next line for me. And verse 15. Yeah. Which show the work of the law written in their hearts. Which show what? Which show the work of the law written in their hearts. Their conscience. Their conscience also bearing witness. And their thoughts to mean while accusing or else excusing one another. Yes, my friends and brethren. When God says that he's going to take it off the tables of stone in Jeremiah, he placed it upon the table of men's heart. And so therefore, it cannot be erased, it cannot be removed. Now, I... I Happy to be here. Now, you didn't explain nothing. Well, now is the time for explanation. And you were all over the place, really. But everything you read and everything you said about what you read, we believe it. Everything. Now, there's a statement you made earlier that I need clarity on you said that I blasphemed. What did I blaspheme about? Okay. Your blasphemy was... And did I blaspheme against the Son of Man or the Holy Ghost? Blas ah! You blaspheme against that one God. What did I say? Okay. Now, in your explanation to somebody who asked a question about Hebrew 4.10, for he that is entered into his rest, he also had ceased from his own works as God did from his. You declare that our works that we cease from is the work of sin. Am I correct? Yes. Okay. Let me show you where the blasphemy comes from. All right. The scripture says that he that is entered into rest, he hath also ceased from his own works. And note the scripture as God did from his. Yes. So if we are doing it as God did, and God had never at no time sinned, right. and we doing it as God did, yes. is that we are resting from sin. I think it's something from the prophet. All right. Let me help you. I didn't blaspheme, brother. Okay. Let's, Let's read it. the scripture in the book of Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 10. And then I want Genesis. Yes. I'm so glad you brought that up because it's something you overlooked. Mm -hmm. And I, I want to help you. Yeah. All right? We, we have, we have, we have uh, yeah, I want to help you. Okay. All right, I want everybody to follow me because my brother said that I blaspheme. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, I want to follow me in the book of Hebrews first. Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 10. And focus on the language of the Bible. For he, For he that is entered into his rest, that have entered into his rest, he also has ceased from his own works. Wait a minute. From his own his works. Own works. Now hold it. God works and our own works are not the same. <laughs> what you said about God is correct. No sin, perfect. But that ain't you and it ain't me. God works is supreme, infallible. Flawless. Us, full of flaws, fallible, go to God for repentance. So that's why I said his own works, God works, and our own works are not the same. I listen, I listen. Disagree. He also had ceased from his own works. What? As God did from his. As God did from his. All it is is comparing the ending of a works. 
not the similarity in deeds. Let me certify that with the book of Genesis. In Genesis chapter 2, we're starting in verse 1. And I want to see his your work like his. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah now. Genesis chapter 2, we're starting at verse 1. Follow me. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished. And all the hosts of them. Everything that he made. And on the seventh day. On the seventh day. God ended his work which God he had made. God ended his work that he had made. And he rested on the seventh day. Uh -huh. From all his work which right. he had made. All right. That's dealing with God creating work. <laughs> Making something from nothing. Right. And you going to try to tell me his work is the same as the human family? Is it? Let me respond. Is his work the same? Let me respond. Respond. I'm responding. Now, God works and the work of the human family. The human family's work patterned God's work. I didn't ask you that. Ah, I know that. I asked you. You said I blasphemy, correct? Yes. Now, is God's work of creating the heavens and the earth the same as the works of our own flesh? Oh, wait. I am not talking about flesh as in flesh and spirit. No, 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 no. no, 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 no just a minute. Just a minute. Yeah. Just a minute. The Bible says in John 4, 24, God is a what? Spirit. So the Bible says we rest on our own works. And it ain't talking about our spirit. It's talking about our flesh. So you got to talk about flesh and spirit. God is the spirit. And if we rest on our own works, our flesh rests. Our spirit don't rest. Now come back to your scripture. 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 Oh, nice, nice. I am back there. Is God works. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's God works. No, no, it's not. That he rests from when he finished creation. No, it's, it not, it's not, it's not, it's not. As the works that we rest from. Yes, it is in respect to doing manual physical labor. All right, that's still not the same. You know why? Let me show you why. God was to reading things. Could I go back to the scripture? Yes, show me where God works. Just a minute. Show me in the Bible that God works when he made the heavens and the earth. The heavens and the earth. Show me that it's the same as us. I told you before, I said it's not the same, but in a way, no, 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 it's no. You said I blasphemed. You got blasphemed, you did. Or I didn't. You did. 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 I'm I did. Yes. All right, now you're going to get Bible to prove to the people yes, that are. the works of the flesh is the same as the works of God's creation. Oh, that's, that's, that's your argument, but no. that's not my. I am saying that saying that we rest from sin as God did. Look at the, 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 the qualifying term. As God did. God had not sinned. I agree. So then, you, if you agree. Yes. Oh, hold, 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 hold it to the prophet. Go ahead. Hold it to the prophet. Go ahead. If you agree, yeah. what is your argument? My argument is this. You don't understand the Bible. Go back to the book of Hebrews. Back to Hebrews chapter 4 verse 10. Yeah. The Bible, I want everybody to listen. The Bible is not comparing the deeds that we rest from with the deeds of God's ability to create. That's not the comparison. What the apostles making the comparison to is resting. Rest. God finished his work. work. So now, if it says our own works, we rest from, would you please tell us what works we must rest from doing? Oh my. Barbary, misery, well, John, is God selling God? insurance, you said, selling God. You said yes. God was making a comparison of works. Was God you know what you're trying to do, prophet? No, it was God a barber. Eh? No. Did God talk tobacco? Did God raise corn? All of those things. They can't raise you know who's the first? You know who's the first designer? Who? Never mind designer. Oh, you know I you want about. to know. He made the That's first the suit. I agree. Okay, well, let's go. Read verse seven. We ain't going nowhere. We gonna stay right here. Verse seven. I want to know. Verse seven. I want to know from you because yeah. you said Pastor Jen is blasphemy. I said it. And, and I stand by it. You stand by with Bible. Verse seven. Get Bible for what chapter? What chapter? What about the chapter? Chapter and verse. Okay. Hebrews four. Pastor Evans is gonna get Bible chapter and verse. That passage in it, blaspheme God. Yeah. Hebrews, verse, Hebrews 4, verse 7. Hebrews chapter 4, and verse 7. Again, he limiteth a certain day, saying in David, Today, after so long a time, as it is said, Today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts. I think I did it, verse 4. Give it 4. Verse 4. Yeah. Hebrews 4, and verse 4. Yeah. For he spake in a certain place of the seventh day on this wise, and God did rest the seventh day from all his works. Oh. Wait, what was he talking about? You agree with me? What, what was he talking about? His creation that he rests from. Oh, oh, you're missing the point, bro. Hold it, hold it right there. Read Hebrews what you just read and right. go back to Genesis. Still in Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 4. Listen. For he spake. He spake in a certain place. Wait a minute. Who spake God. in a certain place? God. God. The prophet Moses spake yes. in a certain place. And the place that he spoke was in the book of Genesis about what God done. That's right. I'm going to go show you what Moses said. That's right. What did he say? For he spake in a certain place. He spake in a certain place. Of the seventh day on this wise. Of the seventh day on this wise. And God did rest the seventh day. God did rest 
on the seventh day from all his works. Now let's balance that out with what Moses said in Genesis. Now in Genesis chapter 2 and I'll first show you how the apostles and their prophets agree with each other. And you might as well get prepared to agree with me before you leave here. <laughs> okay, Genesis that? chapter 2, we'll start in verse 1. All right. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished. Now here Genesis is giving us more information. Right. The heavens and the earth. And you better not say it's not talking about his creation. No. It's telling us what it's talking about. Thus the heavens and the, the earth were finished. And his earth. The earth were complete. And all the host of them. And every day that's up there. And on the seventh day. On the seventh day. God ended his work which he had made. God's work that he ended was his creation. And he rested. The seventh day he ended his work. His work. The seventh day he ended his creation. That's right. And when he finished his creation, what did God do after that? And he rested on the seventh day. He rested on the seventh day. From all his work. Was his work his creation? Yeah. It was? Yes. His work was his creation. Yes. So where did I blaspheme? Yep. <laughs> you have to go, go over the same thing again. If a man, if a man does, you know, you know why I said to you when I started out. The Bible said, "Don't judge nothing before." Huh? Uh, okay. Where well, did I? You know why I said to you at the start out that you, the, the baptism is just it should be just. I don't want baptism. Done. No. I don't want to go back to that. We're I'm, talking about. I'm baptism. laying the foundation. I, your foundation is right here. Yeah, yeah. I want to know. Yeah, you, you can. Where did Pastor Jennings blaspheme? Pastor, I'll say it again. Pastor Jennings blaspheme when he says that our rest from sin is equal. To I didn't say that. Well, I didn't ask, say that. Just ask. What just ask me? I didn't say that. What 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 just ask me? Ask me making a comparison. Okay. Like the Bible says this. He was made as as. As as is making a comparison, right? Okay. But you can make a comparison, but so can you how can you? How can you? I what? Make a comparison between spiritual work and fleshly work. There's no comparison. It is. No, it can't be comparison. Hebrews chapter four. You saw that. Yes, now, hold on. I'm giving you a chance to back up on your statement before I tie you up with the back. You can't be sure. Are you sure now? Right. You cannot compare. Are you sure? I say you cannot compare. The Bible says, oh, let me see if I got this. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see if I got this. Go back on your statement. I'm going back. I'm going back on the statement. I'm going to open up a can of whoop scripture. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Are you sure? Sure? The scripture said that we must compare. Come on, come on, prophet. We must compare. Uh, you know the scripture, you know. Right. <laughs> now, you know the scripture. I'm glad you said that. <laughs> you know now. the scripture. <laughs> Spiritual things, spiritual things must be compared with, with what? With spiritual things. Now, I, hold, hold it, hold it. I'm so glad you brought that scripture. Let's go to work. First Corinthians chapter oh, two. Just a minute, everybody, be quiet. Because what he done, he hung himself. I'm gonna show you how. He just said that I cannot compare works of the flesh with the works of the spirit, and yet he quoted the scripture that justified my comparing, comparing spiritual things, 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 things. with Spirit. Spiritual. All right. First Corinthians chapter two, we're at verse thirteen. Get me. Which also things we speak. Which also things we say. Not in the words which man's wisdom teaches. But, what? but which the Holy Ghost teaches. Uh, comparing. Comparing spiritual things. Spiritual things. With spiritual. Now, there's God, the Spirit, and then there are spiritual things. Spiritual things. You don't know the language of the book. God is a spirit. But now you have another phrase. Spiritual, spiritual things. 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 things and the spiritual thing is an earthly thing that performs the works of the spirit. Now, let me show you a spiritual thing. All right. Now, first, let me show you spirit. God. No, no, I'm not wasting no time because I'm going. I'm going to just a minute. No, no, no. You just said, brother Evans, that I cannot. Ain't that what he said? You got millions of people gonna watch this. You got millions that are listening to you now in Jamaica live over the air. Just a minute, and you just said that Pastor Jennings cannot. Don't ever, don't ever come to the big Pastor Jennings and tell me there's something that I cannot do with that Bible. The Bible is given to me, and what I'm about to do, you can't do. You understand? What I'm about to do, you can't do. All right, now let's go to work. I want to get what God done. Then I want to get a spiritual thing. Right. Give me Peter. Peter. When Jesus walked on water, right, right, right. he said, I can't get a spiritual thing. Mm -hmm. Let's see what Peter done, and let's see what Jesus was doing. You agree Jesus Christ is God, right? Yeah. He's God? Yeah. He's God Almighty. Yeah. The true living God. How many times do I have to say yeah? yeah. How you don't believe me? Because the Bible says the mouth of two or three witnesses should every word be accepted. <laughs> So, do you agree that God Almighty was walking on water? Yeah. Was Peter God? If Peter was God? No. Peter wasn't God? No. Did Peter walk on water? Yeah. Did he do a spiritual thing? Of course. He did? All right. All right. 
Listen, is Ghana here? Let me let me respond to that. Just a minute, I, I want to yes, tell you. Yes, yes, he's here. Ghana's here. Yeah. If you lay hands on somebody mm -hmm. and God healed them, you flesh, you are saved. Mm -hmm. If you lay hands on them and call on the name of the Lord Jesus and they heal, is God using a spiritual thing to do a spiritual act? Yes. He is? Yes. Then don't tell me I can't compare. No. Let me respond to what you're saying. You do that. I, you still better clear up this stuff that I blasphemed. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't finished. You're, 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 you're very slippery. And I'm what? Slippery. You're very slick. But, listen. Listen. Flesh and blood. I, let me say to I'm, Jamaica. 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 You mean to tell me this is the best you got to challenge Pastor Jennings? Yeah. This is the best you got? Well, listen. Now, you better get that Bible and show the public and the viewers where I blaspheme. You, I have showed it many times. No, you didn't. But let us, let us look at what you have just said. I told you that you cannot compare yes. flesh with spirit. No, you said I can't compare spiritual things with spirit. All right. No, no, sir. <laughs> Let me remind you, those of you who are maybe not listening keenly, I said you must compare yes. spiritual things with spirit. I just did that. No, you didn't. Now listen. Listen. The point that you were trying to prove What's that? is that flesh and spirit can be compared. Isn't that what you're trying to prove? Flesh and spirit can be compared. Cannot be compared. There's no comparison. It isn't? Because listen. Oh, hold, all right. You come back again. And let me finish. All right, go ahead and finish. And while, while he's talking, give me the first. Peter, 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 Peter walking. Peter, God look like. Peter walking underwater. Yes. It's not fleshly. It's spirit. So there was spirit. It was, it was, it was spiritual things being done. It was what? Spiritual things being done. And what, was the, what, what was the flesh there? What was the spiritual thing working through? It was working through Peter. And what was Peter? It's not a compromise. It's a vessel. It's a vessel. It's a vessel. It's a vessel. Yes. And what is the vessel? Is it flesh? <laughs> is it flesh? You are done. Is it flesh? Yes, it's flesh. Is it flesh? Yes. <laughs> you preachers here in Jamaica don't know. You don't know. Now, let me get deep with the Bible and give you another comparison between flesh and spirit. Spirit and flesh are not equal. That's what I've said. I agree. I'm not saying they're oh, equal. Okay, if, if you agree. Wait, 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 wait. Let me give you clear. I can make a comparison, but that don't mean what I'm comparing, I'm saying is equal. No, I don't want you to understand. I'm not saying that we are equal to God, but God says, who is my equal? Save the Holy One. That's not what I'm saying. Pastor Jennings, you have, you have skillfully removed the conversation. I'm not moving the conversation. From the commandments of God. No. And, and, and we're going someplace else. And, and I'm following you. I, you said I blaspheme. Oh, I, I, and I want you to prove I, it. Well, I blaspheme. I, I, I approve after, it. Listen, after, after you prove that, after, I can pick up any commandment you want from Genesis to Revelation. I have told you, sir, and I, and I hope you can understand. When the scripture says in Hebrew 4, yes. that he speak of the seventh day on this wise. I, I don't disagree with and, that. and he remind us that yes. God did rest the seventh day. I agree. You agree. So I, we, we are the contention his is that our rest should be similar to God's rest. And you are saying that our rest is a rest from sin. When did God ever sin? If God you're, follow, sin. You're, following, you're following God's footsteps. Exactly. But if, God if, if, God, if, if God created physical things yes. and he stopped yes. for a while, and he told you to do as he has done. Then why is it that in your physical work you don't stop as God did when he created physical things? First of Pastor all, Jennings. God did not say stop your physical work. God said if you don't work, you don't eat. Mm -hmm. That's what God said. And then what God said? Yeah. Now, when Jesus was here, okay. just a minute. No, I'm, not going to take it away. I'm not going to take it away so easy. All right, come on. Now, make it interesting for me. I'm going to make it very interesting. I want you to do that. Okay. Because right now, now you're no, sailing. No, no, no. If that's what, just your you're sailing. That's your word. Come on, Evans. Get your Bible. You're talking now. Get your Bible. Listen, God, you said that God said that we must do physical work. Was there ever a time? Yes. In the course of human history? Yes. Where God commanded his, his, his people to cease from physical work? Yes. So why is it now that you're trying to render it across the trail? All right. Let me show you. Why are you trying to render it across the trail? Just a minute. Just a minute. Now, in the old time, where you rest from your physical work. That wasn't the same as what God did. Because when you say physical, you say body. Is spirit physical? No. Is no. It? no, no. Thank you. Now, so when God stick rests... Up in. Just a minute. No, wait. Stick up in. Let me finish. Hold on, no, man. Let me finish. I'm, gonna, you I'm, not, me, I'm not finished answering. But you asked me. There's something else that I need to talk. All right, you go ahead. Put it in there. Even though spirit is not physical, yes. there's any time and any moment when God can physical, that can bring spiritual things in a physical form am i wrong i agree but that's not what we're talking about get back up to this microphone <laughs> i ain't going nowhere i ain't going nowhere that's not what we're talking gonna about be a piece of in here that's not what we're talking about we're talking about in the old testament ladies and gentlemen brothers and sisters they rest 
from the natural works. Leviticus chapter 23 and verse 23. Listen at this. In Leviticus 23 and verse 23. All right. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, uh -huh. Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, In the seventh month, uh -huh. the first day of the month shall you have a Sabbath. Shall you have a Sabbath, mean a day of rest. A memorial blowing of trumpets and holy convocation. Yeah. Ye shall do no servile work therein. Don't do no work therein. But ye shall offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. Yes. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Also on the tenth day uh -huh. of this seventh month, it shall be a day of its own. Yeah. It shall be a holy convocation unto you. Now, when you said earlier that the Sabbath in the New Testament is greater than what was in the Old, that's what I've been preaching. I agree with 100%. Physical work in the Old Testament that they set aside a time to stop the physical work to commemorate where the Spirit, which is God, Jehovah, I am, the one Lord of Israel, rest from the seventh day. But the law being faulty, was it not? Yes, well, not a minute. Not a come on, yes. Right, I'm not talking about the Ten Commandments. The law being faulty. For finding fault. Now, listen at the book of Hebrews. Now, we agree on that. Chapter 8 and we're at verse 7. Well, if that. that first covenant had been faultless. Yes. When the Old Testament said, remember the Sabbath and keep it holy, did Jesus or his apostles said that and did they keep that? Yes, they all did. No, right. we're getting so weird. So, the, remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy, Jesus preached that to his apostles. Oh. <laughs> yes, sir. Read it. When Jesus told his apostles, remember the Sabbath day, and keep it holy in the New Testament church. You mean like word for word? The same as the commandment did? Give chapter and, and verse. When Jesus told his apostles to keep the Sabbath day like in the Old Testament and don't, don't and don't do no work. Listen, I have just told Give you. Give chapter and verse. I don't want to know that. You do that. Um, um, St. Matthew 24, 20. Now listen, prophet. You, 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 you're good with it. You're good with it. You, 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 but listen, listen. Listen, this is not with the Bible. I want Bible. I'm not Bible. That's right. Like that's about to break down. Yeah. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Now listen, listen. Come on, Evans, get the Bible. I said, what, what is Saint it? Matthew 24, verse 20. Matthew 24, 20. Saint Matthew 24, 24, and verse 20. I don't drink water while I'm working, man. Well, you're not working, but do you want some water? I said, I don't drink water while I'm working. I'm just trying to tell you, you're not working, so do you want some You can't tell me whether I'm working, yes or no. <laughs> you, you can't. Come on, Come on, Matthew 24, and verse 20. Yeah. But pray that your flight be not in the winter. Yes. Neither on the Sabbath day. Uh, that's it. <laughs> That ain't what I asked. I asked you that Jesus tell his apostles to keep the Sabbath day like it was commanded in the Old Testament. If he did, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't. Then why did you say it? I did not say it. No. Now listen, listen, just hold, hold, hold on a second, hold on a second. Just a minute. You remember when I corrected, you remember when just I corrected the minister? Just a minute. Do you remember when I corrected the minister? Just a minute, just a minute. I Everybody be quiet. Like this is the one time. Everybody be quiet. I, just a minute, just a minute. I asked, I asked Pastor Evans, did Jesus ever tell his apostles to remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy like they were told in the Old Testament? What did he say? Did you lie? I did lie. Did you lie? Did you hear I tell? Did, you, did I tell you? Did you tell a lie? No. Did I tell you? I, not, not like it was word for word. Did I say that? I said that later, but did you lie? I did not lie. Did you lie? I did not lie. Chapter 12. I did not lie. All right. All right. I want everybody to listen. I want to see how many commandments right. came from the Old Testament right. to the New. Right. And I want to see what commandments did Jesus teach his apostles. Matthew chapter 19. Follow me in heaven. And we'll start in verse 16. We're live today in Jamaica. So if I got any Sabbath day other preachers listening in, you can get on your motorcycle, hit your ride, and come on here because I take care of you too. Amen. What did he say? St. Matthew chapter 19, we'll start in verse 16. We're going to count now in the days of old that 10 commandments, correct? Yes. Uh, 10 commandments. Yes. We're going to see that all 10 Come in the New Testament church. Just a minute, let's read. Matthew chapter 19, we'll start at verse 16. Follow me. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? Wait a minute. <laughs> what should I do that I may have eternal life? Brother, what Jesus about to outline, if we follow that, yeah. we'll have eternal life. That's right. Now let's listen at what Jesus said and remember. Mm -hmm. Jesus said he's the Lord of the Sabbath. Exactly. That means he's superior, greater, higher, then the Sabbath. Did you lose something? You need anything? What did you lose? Do your thing. Do your thing. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You lost? I lost nothing. Let's go. All right. Come on, Wayne. And the whole one came and said unto him, Good master. One answer. One sentence. I want everybody to listen closely. Because this will debunk 
every Sabbath day keeper on the island and the world. That's right. Listen at this. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? Let us remember, this is all about eternal life. Is that right, church? Yes. So that means what we do must be in compliance with this scripture. Right. Listen at this. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? Why you call me good? There's none good but one. one. That, that is God. That's God. But, but, if thou wilt enter into life, if you enter into life, keep the commandments. Keep the commandments. Hey, hey Jesus. Amen. What commandments you are instructing us to keep? He said unto him, What? Which? Which? That's my question. Which? Which commandment should we keep today? Amen. Which? Before I read further, which commandment should we keep today? Ten? You say ten? All right. I want to compare your words with Jesus' words. He said unto him, which? Listen. <laughs> Listen. Jesus said. Jesus said. Thou shalt do no murder. Let's count. Jesus said what? Thou shalt do no murder. How many is that? One. What's next? Thou shalt not commit adultery. How many is that? Two. What else? Thou shalt not steal. How many is that? Three. What else? Thou shalt not bear false witness. How many is that? Four. What else? Honor thy father and thy mother. How many is that? Five. What else? And, and thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. How many is that? Six. How many did Jesus preach? Answer my question. You better not do nothing else. How many did Jesus preach? Jesus. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did Jesus preach six or did he preach ten? Hold I on, dare you to tell me he said 10. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not a horse. Don't tell me to hold Jesus, Jesus did not. It did, it did not. Did Jesus give us Look what I respond. You said 10. Hold on. Jesus said 6. I am telling you. He said 6. Oh. Now, Pastor, wait, 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 wait. I got to get you. You got, you have got, you have been hooked. You, you have been hooked. How many are we to keep? Now, let me respond to you to your statement that you have just made. Do that. Now, you say, tell me if I'm wrong, that... We as people of God, the following commandments are those that we should keep. Am I correct? Did you say that? Yes, I will enter into life. Jesus said for us, don't blame it on me. And say, I said, I can't you think of your life, prophet. If, like, prophet, if, prophet, prophet, if prophet, I will enter into life. Get, wait a minute. He lied and said, I said, get chapter and verse. Matthew chapter 19 and at verse 17. Is my name Matthew? Get prophet, 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 Matthew prophet. chapter 19 and verse 17. Is my name Matthew? Is this Bible? Yeah. Did Jesus say it? Yes, he said that. Did I say it? You said no, 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 no. Did you, no, you did not say. You did not say. I didn't say. No, you didn't say. What did you? Oh, wait, 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 Keep the commandments. Jesus said. You have been hooked. If thou will enter into life, you have been hooked. Keep the commandments. You have been hooked. Yes, and will. I would like, I would like you to allow me to show your congregation show. where you have been hooked. Show me. You said. Just a minute. Just a minute. I want you to show us that we are to keep more than what Jesus said. Oh, Lord God. <laughs> In order to get into the kingdom. You if thou were into profit, 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 profit. Let, let, let me let me show you. Let me show you. You can do like making cheese all you want. <laughs> we want that come right back to that body. Yes, yes, yes. Because yes, Jesus yes, goes back. Right. This is what we got to do. Okay, to okay, get okay, into okay, life. Okay, 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 okay. Now, prophet, let me show you where you have placed your foot in your mouth. If, 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 as you claim, I don't put it on me. I didn't say nothing. You said Jesus said so. I didn't say Jesus said Jesus, so. Jesus said 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 where we should keep more commandments than that that Jesus meant on. Yes. Would you allow me to do so without interruption? Chapter and verse where we are to get into the e have eternal life. life. More than what Jesus said. More than what Jesus said. Because if you can do more than what Jesus said. What verse have you stopped? Listen. That was Matthew chapter 19 and verse 18. Read verse 19 for me please. Listen. Go verse, on to now. Verse 19. Yes. Honor thy father and thy mother. Yes. Verse 19. No. And thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Yes. Read on, read on. The young man said unto him, All these have I kept from my youth up. Yeah. Is, there, like I speak up in this, speak up in is there a verse that said, If there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in the same? Yeah. Is there other commandment than the six? Come on now, back. Come on now, back. Yes. Are, are there other commandments than the six? No, if there are other commandments than the six, Just and you are claiming. Let's read. Matthew chapter 22. Let's get Matthew 22. And then verse 36. That's what? Master, which is the great commandment in the law? Which is the great commandment in the law? Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. Yes. This is the first and great commandment. Uh -huh. And the second is like unto it. Wait a minute. It's like it. Like it. What is it? And the second is like unto it. 
Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Did he not include that in the earliest chapter that he read? Look what? Let me not go down your love thy neighbor as thyself. Yes, sir, but he did not. Second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. But we are not dealing with the neighbor because Jesus mentioned that already. We are dealing with the one that Jesus did not mention in St. Matthew 19. Love the Lord thy God. You said that all that we need was what was mentioned in St. Matthew 19. No, no. I don't know. I said all we need is what Jesus said. That's what I said. Okay, okay. I give you that much. I give you that much. You're not giving me nothing. I have it already. I'm giving you that much. You're not giving me nothing. I clearly said that we cannot be saved. Unless we do what Jesus said, do is that the truth or is that a lie? That is the truth. Good master. Now, no, 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 no. Come on, you have not addressed what you have addressed nothing since you've been up here. I, I have just, I have just a lot of things. All right, tell me, are we to keep the Sabbath and keep it holy according to what Jesus and the apostles preached? If so, your chapter and verse where Jesus preached it and the apostles preached it, get it right now. Okay, now let me see if I can get the chance from you. Get it right now. St. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 20. Yes. Jesus said, Jesus says, let, let not your flight be in the winter or on the Sabbath day. No, good passages. I don't want that. No, I, I don't, I don't. I, 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 I am not, I am not going to, Jesus no, you're and not going to run rough or anything like that. Us the commandment to remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy for the New Testament church. Get that scripture. I, I am showing you where Jesus preached the Sabbath. Get good passages. That's not the question. I preach the Sabbath. You preach. Oh, 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 wait a minute. That's not wait, the wait, wait, wait. If you preach the Sabbath, I'll preach oh, it. Oh, stick up in, If you preach the Sabbath, then what is the argument about where you're asking me to show this, you from the scripture where Jesus said we you are, are you doing something that Jesus said you're not doing? Are you? Oh, wait, 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 no, you're going to answer my question. Are you doing something that the scripture tells you not to do? You say you preach the Sabbath. Did, yeah. did you say that? Yeah. Did Jesus tell you to do that? He said preach the word. Oh, come on. That's yeah. not my question. Yeah. That is not my question. My question is. No, you won't answer my question. I'll answer you. No, yes. you're not. Jesus you look like you're running out of gas. Jesus, just you say you preach the Sabbath. Let me rehearse it before you answer. Yes, you say you, yes, answer. you yes, will preach the Sabbath. Right. And then you claim that Jesus gave us no commandment to keep the Sabbath. So why are you preaching it? I'm going to answer now. Mark chapter just a minute. I preach the Sabbath. I don't preach to keep it. Go ahead. Ask the girl. Mark chapter 2. Let's see. Just a minute. Let's see. Let's see when Jesus. Just a minute. You just quoted the scripture. When Jesus preached the Sabbath, pray that your flight don't be in the winter, nor on the Sabbath day. Jesus was preaching the Sabbath, correct? Yes. Did he keep it? Yes. Read it. And you better not move. Read it. Don't move. I don't move. Don't move. Get, I don't move. Get, don't get, get the verse. Send when move. Jesus Send kept move. the Sabbath, Send and he did not work, Send and he told move. us to keep it. Send Come on, don't, don't have that to you. I don't want that. Don't have that to you. I don't want that. Don't that. Don't don't that. Don't your question, your question was. When you find out that your question couldn't hold water, listen. each hand that little piece of because you know it is not, it is not Amen. physically written that way. But Amen. listen, Jesus keep the Sabbath. Said Luke four verse sixteen. Read, read, read for me. Luke chapter four and verse sixteen. I want to read where Jesus not only kept the Sabbath. I want to see. He kept it in that particular example. Let's see that Jesus keep the Sabbath, and let's see that Jesus command it to be preached. In uh, Saint Luke chapter four and verse sixteen. Follow me. And he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up. Yes. And as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day oh. and stood up for what to read. Just went in the synagogue. I want Bible chapter and verse that he kept it and told his apostles to do it. That's your words. That's your words. He told, he told his apostles. St. John chapter 5, we'll start at verse 17. St. John chapter 5. He don't have no Bible. You have a very long count. I don't take count. Just a minute. Give chapter and verse. St. John chapter 5, we're starting at verse 17. What is it? But Jesus answered them, My father worketh hitherto, and I work. Yeah. Therefore the Jews sought the more to kill him. The Jews sought to kill him. Because he not only had broken the Sabbath. <laughs> Did he break it? No. Wait a minute. Just a minute. Just a minute. Now, we're going to see how honest, honest. this so called preacher is. Yeah. Is the Bible true? Always. Is the Bible infallible? Always. The Bible don't have no flaws. No. Listen at this. Therefore, the Jews sought the more to kill him. Yes. Because he not only had broken the Sabbath. Because not only did he break the Sabbath. But also said that God was his father. Did he break the Sabbath? No. Because he not only had broken the Sabbath. Oh, 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 oh I got you there. I the got you there. I got the Jews. The Jews say that he broke the Sabbath, but he did not break. The Jews say the Bible said he not only broke the Sabbath. Did he break it? He did not break it. Did he not only had broken? Don't tell me what the Bible said. Who said it in the Bible? Who said it? Yes. 
You want to know who said it? Oh. The Bible says all scriptures are given by the inspiration of God. God inspired it. God said it. God said it. And it was no, you're lying on God. You are Romans lying seven. on God. Listen, God did not. Show me Luke chapter verse where God said, I am the Lord, I am the So you give me Luke chapter verse. St. John chapter 5 and verse 18. St. John chapter 5 and verse 18. I want to say to all of my viewers and all my listeners, Jamaica, you wonder why I condemn your preachers? Because they're liars just like you. Amen. You are the liar. You are the liar. You are the liar. Jesus is it. Who did it? Jesus answered them. Who did it? Jesus answered them. This is how dishonest these preachers are. They get in their pulpit with the Bible, and then when you push them out of the Bible, they call the Bible a lie. Jesus answered them. Jesus answered them. Who did it? Jesus answered them. Who did it? Jesus answered them. You can't give it by what God said. Did Jesus Christ God? Sir, is he God? Sir, is sir. he God? Answered. Yes, he is God. We got you that already. Jesus answered. Yeah, well, yeah. Father worketh in the two and I work. That's what the Jews are the more to kill him. Hey, what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't, don't stop this Sabbath. Sabbath. Don't stop this Sabbath. Sabbath. What is that? Because he not only had broken the Sabbath, but also said, but also said, but also said that God was his father. They was looking at not only what Jesus was doing, That's but right. what he was saying. That's right. Who was looking at it? Who, 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 who was looking at it? Who, who was looking at it? Is that the truth? Who? I am asking you. You are trying to. You, you start sugarcoating. The Bible said Jesus. Wait, well, let us rehearse. The Bible said Jesus answered and said unto them. Jesus answered them. Answered them. Answered them. My yeah. father worketh hitherto and I, I work. Watch out there. What? What? Punctuation mark out there. Therefore, Never mind punctuation. Mind it. I mind it. Is that the truth? Mind it. Is mind it. The and then the, script, the scripture goes on to say, the Jews accuse him of breaking the Sabbath and making God his father. No, the Jews. The, the, the therefore, the Jews sought the more to kill. Who used the word therefore? Who used this word therefore? Read all of them. Read all of them. Back up in St. John 5 and that verse. Jesus answered him. My father worked in the Jews. Jesus answered him and said, My father do what? My father worked in the Jews. What? And I work. And I work. Therefore, the Jews sought the more to kill. Everybody be quiet. The Jews were observing Jesus' behavior, his deeds, and what was coming out of his mouth, his words. Both was under observation. Listen at this. Therefore, the Jews sought the more to kill him because he not only had broken the Sabbath, they but saw what he done. Not only did he break the Sabbath, but also said, but also he was talking that God was his God father. God is his father, making himself equal, making with himself God. equal with God. Then answered Jesus. Then answered Jesus. And said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I say to you, the Son can do nothing of himself. Wait a minute. If I break the Sabbath, I didn't do it on my own. But if I talk, I didn't do it on my own. I do nothing, nothing of myself. Nothing of but, what, but what saith he the Father do? But, wait a minute. But what he saith the Father do? Oh. But what? What he saith the Father he do? The Father do. For what thing soever he doeth, whatever God do, these also doeth the Son likewise. Y'all oh. no. right. reach nowhere. Y'all right. reach nowhere. All right. Take your seat. Take your seat. But one thing, Pastor, before I go, before take I take, before, I'm taking my seat. Look, hold on, before I take my seat, yes. I would be very happy to have you um, um, speak on yes. two questions that I've asked. I would love to speak at your assembly. No, no, not, not at my assembly. Where? But, but we, we'll invite you, we'll invite you there. But listen, I, I asked the question and you have not addressed it. What was that? When did the commandments place on the hearts of men? When was the commandments placed on the hearts of men? According to Jeremiah? Yes. yes. And secondly, uh, let's get one question at a time, all right? Let's go back to Jeremiah. Yeah, scripture. What chapter? What verse? 31, 31. All right, yeah. Because it's 33, so you can go to 33 for a second. All right, let's, let's see when the commandments. Everybody be quiet. Now, let us, everybody listen, listen, because I want you to get knowledge. In the days of old, the commandments was written on stone. But now God wanted it engraved. Glory to God and men's heart. Is that? Right, you want to be answered? You should say nine. What's that? You want nine to be engraved. Because up till now, we are past that. We still don't, we still don't hook you with James 2 verse 10 yet. We say if you keep one, you're supposed to keep all of them. So they will be nice and they love talking and some one. Are you going to let me answer? Go, 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 go try and deal with great James 2 10. Answer no. Answer no. <laughs> and where that was going to be a keep one, but if there ain't no keep one, we're going to be laughing. All right, Brother Evans. Have a seat. Have a seat. All right, let's break down the commandments in the heart of man. That's right. First in Jeremiah chapter 31. I believe he mean well. Yes. He mean well. But he just don't know. He need a teacher. Yes. Huh? And I believe that if he had a teacher, he'd be more effective than what he is. I believe you're honest. You need sincere. Who just needs to be taught. Whether you believe it or not, brother, I can teach you good. 
Amen. All right, let's break down the word and the heart of man. Amen. Are you, are you with me? Yes. All right, listen at this. Jeremiah chapter 31, we'll start at verse 31. All right. Behold, the days come and saith the Lord that I will make a new covenant. Hold it. Amen. Something new. Yeah. If it's a new covenant, it's a new oath. Yes, a new agreement. Yes. A new pact. Yes. A new promise. It's not like the old. That's right. It's greater yeah. than the old. That's right. For the Bible says, out of the mouth of the prophet Haggai, the latter house shall be greater. He said, the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former. So if the latter house, which is the house of the last days, which is the church of the last days, if it's going to be greater than the former house, then the commandments must be of more effect and be in a more effectual place. That's right. Stone can break. That's right. yeah. Stone wear away. Yeah. Stone fall apart. That's right. Hallelujah to God. That's right. What he said? Behold, the days come, saith the Lord. Glory to God, the days come, saith the Lord. And I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel. I will make a new agreement with Israel. And with the house of Judah. And the house of Judah. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers. It won't be like what I made with their fathers. In the day that I took them by the hand to when bring I them out of them the, land, out of the of Egypt, land of Egypt. Which my covenant they break. They broke that. Although I was an husband unto them, saith the Lord. Yes. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. When he said I was a husband unto them, saith the Lord, that mean although I was married to them, right. I was obligated to them. That's right. All right. And this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. What is it? After those days, saith the Lord, I will put my law in the inward parts. Wait I a minute. When you, when you finish that, I need Ezekiel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Finish up. Come on, son. There's so much coming to my mind. You better keep up with me I, now. I will put my law in their inward parts and write them in their hearts and will be their God and they shall be my people. Now, in order for the law mm. to be written in the inward part, inward parts, you need something stronger than ink. That's right. That's right. Something stronger than a pen. Yeah. That's why the prophet Ezekiel, God declared, and he's going to give them, here, hear this. Come on, son. Ezekiel chapter 36 and verse 25. What he said. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you. Yeah. You need to be sprinkled with some clean water. Clean. And ye shall be clean. And you shall be clean. From all your filthiness and from all your idols will I cleanse you. Yes, I got to prep you before I start writing, you know. A new heart. What? A new heart. Are you getting what I'm telling you? A new heart. Also will I give you. Give me some juice out of here. A new heart. Also will I give you. Also will I give you. And a new spirit. And wait a minute. A new heart is not just good enough. What do you got to have to go with it? And a new spirit. You got to have a new spirit. Hold up. The Spirit of God will work with this people in a new way that he didn't work in the Old Testament. That's right. And when the Spirit work in his people in a way that he did in the Old Testament that he did not work, then it's going to be something new to new. us. That's right. What is it? And a new heart also will I give you. Uh -huh. And a new spirit will I put within new you. New spirit will I put in him. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh. <laughs> I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh. And I will give you a heart of flesh. Now. And. And. I will put my spirit within you. Wait a minute. So now you need the spirit to be put in there. That's right. So here you have in the eighth chapter of Acts of the Apostles, yeah. the Bible says the law of the spirit of life, Romans. which is in Christ Jesus, Romans chapter 8, had made us free from the law of sin and death. That's right. Re reaching back, talking about Moses' time. That's right. What the law could, could not, not do, do. Could not do. Why? In that it was weak through the flesh. What did God do? God sending his own son. How did he come? In the likeness of sinful what flesh. What was his reason for coming? And for sin. What did he do? Condemned sin in the flesh. That what? That the righteousness of the law. Wait. 
There were some right things in Moses' law, right. in the commandments. Right. There were some right things. That's right. But for us to get the rightness of the law, it had to be fulfilled in us. That's right. How? That the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us. I do what? Who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Come on, move quick, brother. Who walk not after the flesh. Who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. So here come God now. I believe in the epistle of John declaring, yeah. not putting it in there yeah. with ink and paper. Second Corinthians. But God now is going to engrave this. Second Corinthians. In our heart in the book of Corinthians. Read quick. Second Corinthians chapter 3. We're at verse 2. All right. Ye are our epistle. Written in our hearts. Wait, 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 wait now. God come along. And put his covenant. Right. His commandments. Mm -hmm. In the heart. Of the church. How do he put it in our heart? Ye do are. Hold it. How do he put it in our heart? That's the question. When it's time to declare God's word, God is putting his covenant, his commandment, in the hearts of man. That's why on the day of Pentecost, don't you hear the Bible say, they were pricked where? In their heart. Where? In their heart. Where? In their heart. This stuff, for it to get in your heart, you got to have a preacher. How can you hear without a preacher? Without a preacher. And how can he preach except to be sent? You so saw this everlasting covenant is being put in the heart of men now. That's right. Right now it's being put in the heart of the world That's right. through preaching. Yeah. For the Bible says God made manifest his word through preaching. through preaching. Jesus came along, put it in the hearts of the apostles. The apostles came along and put it in the heart of the church. Yeah. And they put the commandments in the heart of the church. Right. Is that Bible? Yes. Yeah. Give me the first chapter of Acts of the Apostles. The and begin at verse 1. The former the treaties, said, have, the I made former treaties have I made. O Theophilus. Theophilus of all. That Jesus that began both to Jesus do and began teach. Both to do and teach. Until the day in which he was taken up. Then what? After that he threw the Holy Ghost. Wait a minute. He threw ink and paper. He threw the Holy Ghost. He threw stone. He threw the Holy Ghost. What was done by the Holy Ghost? Had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen. How did the commandments get to the apostles? After that he threw the Holy Ghost. Had given commandments. Unto the apostles. How did the apostles get the commandments? Through the Holy Ghost. That's how it's written. That's right. It's all written in us right now. That's right. Through the Holy Ghost. So what? Through the Holy Ghost. Now, give me your Bible. In the old time, when the old time, it was on stone. Yes. The reason why in the New Testament he put it in the hearts of man, stone is a temporary thing. That's right. But he want man's heart to be broken. That's right. Because stone also represents man's heart before God put something in it. That's right. That's right. That's right. A stony heart. Stony heart. Represents stubbornness, yes. rebellion, yes. hard case. Yes. So God said, I'm going to write it in the heart. That's right. Why would God go after the heart? He's seen how stubborn it is. But his word, he said, is not my word like a hammer. You need the hammer, break the rock. which is the gospel. That's right. To break up the heart. So you want to know when? when it start being placed in the heart of man when Jesus walked this earth. That's right. He was putting it in his apostles. That's right. And then he told them, go ye in all the world. Yeah. Preach the gospel to every creature. He that believe and is baptized shall be saved. He that don't believe it, he'll go to hell. 
after it's, that. It's in our heart now. Yeah. What did he say? After that, he threw the Holy Ghost. What? He threw the Holy Ghost. How was he given? Had he threw the Holy Ghost. Had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen. Amen. <laughs> if you don't comply with what God put in his apostles. In the apostles. If you don't comply with what God gave his apostles yeah. every Sabbath, every seven-day Adventist, every apostolic, every Pentecostal, yeah. everybody in the world. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Do you hear? Mark 16 and verse 15. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world. That's what got me here in Jamaica. That's right. That's right. That's what got me here. That's right. That's what got me challenging every preacher in the island. Amen. And our challenge still holds. Yeah. I don't worry about nobody taking the truth of God championship. Oh, no. It's an everlasting belt. That's right. We hold it up towards the heavens. That's right. Ha! Hallelujah. Go I you. stand firm. Oh, yeah. On the God that we represent. That's right. There's one truth. That's it. And apart from what Jesus... Anytime a man said Jesus didn't tell the truth, that mm. man is going to hell. Amen. Anytime I ask a preacher, is that the truth, what mm. Jesus said? And you say no, you have blasphemed the scriptures. That's right. Jesus, yeah. Hair hard head heathens <laughs> at no time gave the world in the New Testament a command to remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Yet he preached the Sabbath and yet did not observe the Sabbath. That's right. I preach it. Yes. I don't observe it. That's right. Jesus preached it, but not for right. observation. Right. Because why? He was the Lord, Lord of, the of the Sabbath. Of the Sabbath. So yes, we got the rest. But from what? From what? Listen, yeah. Galatians. There's an earthly rest. Yeah. And there's an eternal rest. That's right. Is that right, I said? That's right. There's an earthly rest. There remaineth therefore. Glory to God. Give chapter and verse. Now in the book of Hebrews chapter 4. I want to start at verse 4. And if you want to start there, then do that. Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 4. For he spake in a certain place of the seventh day on this wise. And God did rest the seventh day from all his works. Listen closely. And in this place again, if they shall enter into my rest. Now, if you want to enter into God's rest. Our rest. His rest. Mm -hmm. And your rest is different. That's what I was saying. The rest that he had in creating heavens and the earth and your rest, they're different. That's right. But both is a form of rest. Yes. And this scripture was making a comparison. And in this place again, if they shall enter into my rest. If they shall enter into my rest. Seeing therefore it remaineth that some must enter the and enter therein. Yes. And they to whom it was first preached entered not in because of unbelief. What? Again, a, he limiteth a certain day. Yes. Saying in David, today after so long a time, as it is today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Now, you that are here, that have not obeyed the gospel, after you've been around so long a time, mm -hmm. don't get hard hearted. That's right. Amen. Don't get stubborn. If you will hear his voice. If you're wrong, just say, I'm wrong, but God is right. right. Don't be fool enough to say, God is wrong, and you're right. Amen. Amen. You are going to hell, God knows. That's right. That's the epitome of arrogance. Yeah. When a man said, he's right, and Jesus is wrong. <laughs> Amen. And a Bible said, Jesus knew no sin. No sin. No Jesus is right in everything. Everything. We get wrong, not Jesus. That's right. We make mistakes, not Jesus. That's right. Hallelujah. How hell bound and arrogant men are. Amen. Where you would get so self righteous and say, 
Jesus is wrong. Jesus is wrong. And you wonder why I fight false prophets. Amen. They have exalted themselves above God. Amen. I'll pull you back down to where you are. Amen. What is that? Seeing therefore it remaineth that some must enter therein. What is it? And they to whom it was first preached enter not in because of unbelief. Yes. Again he limiteth a certain day saying in David. In David. Today after so long a time. Such a long a time. As it is today if you will hear his voice. Do what? Harden not your heart. When you hear what the word of God say give up and surrender and just say look God is right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's what everybody got. You got to tap out, you know. Oh, yeah. Once the scriptures put that submission hole on you and it's about to cut you off, tap out. Yeah. Say, I surrender. God is right. That's right. What is that? For if Jesus had given them rest. Wait. If Jesus had given them rest. Had given them a Sabbath. Then would he not afterward have spoken of another day? If Jesus would have told you to observe the Sabbath, right. then he would not offer you another day. Another day. That what? There remained therefore a rest. Here, here, here. Glory to sweet Jesus. Mm. There remaineth therefore. Remaineth. Therefore a rest. A rest. To the people of God. Hallelujah. Now, that's the Sabbath we're waiting for. That's right. Notice the Bible says what? There remaineth therefore a rest. It remains. Remaineth. A rest. To the people of God. What is that rest that remains? Eternity. 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 That's right. There's a place we're going to rest at. That's right. New Jerusalem. Amen. The Old Testament New Jerusalem or the symbolic to it was Canaan. That's right. Temporary rest. Yeah. But because the latter house is greater than the former, he's going to change our vow body. Glory to God. That's right. The Bible says, Behold, I show you a mystery. mystery. We shall not all sleep, but shall be changed. Amen. Hallelujah. That's the Sabbath. That's the Sabbath. That's the rest. That's the rest. Laid up for the church. That's right. That's what we're working for. Amen. That's the truth. Yeah. That's what we're looking for. Go ahead. It remains. It remains, therefore. It remains. Remain it there for a rest. It remains. Remain. We don't have it yet. No. But it's there. That's right. Lay hold on eternal life. That's right. Meaning lay hold on the Sabbath. That's right. Whereunto thou art also called. So called. And have professed a good profession. Before many witnesses. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Before many witnesses. There remain it there for. Don't tell me we don't believe in Sabbath. Amen. Sure we do. Amen. That's what we're waiting for. That, that's right. Huh? There remain it there for. Hallelujah. That's what we're waiting for. Amen. We're waiting for Jesus to come. That's it. That's an eternal Sabbath. Day. That's right. We're waiting for it. That's right. You know why we're waiting? Okay. Because it remains. Yes. Remain, therefore. The difference. The difference. The difference. In the Old Testament Sabbath and the Sabbath that we're waiting for, go ahead, go ahead. the Old Testament, you have to stop work. Go ahead. To get the eternal Sabbath, go ahead. you got to work to get it. Work to get it. You got to work to get it. That's right. Work out. What the Holy Ghost said? Work out. In chapter and verse. Philippians chapter 2 and verse 12. Work out. Do you want that Sabbath church? Yeah. Do you want it? Yeah. Hallelujah. What the Holy Ghost said? Work out. We got some work to do. Oh, yeah. Work out what? Your own salvation. You got to work out your own. Your own salvation. If you want that eternal Sabbath, Hallelujah. you got to repent. Got to be baptized. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Got to carry for the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Got to lay down fornication. Hallelujah. Got to lay down adultery. Got to stop your drinking. Hallelujah. Got to stop your smoking. Hallelujah. 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 H
work. Hallelujah. Pulling off the wood of hey. him. Going down. Oh, hey. Rising up. Lord and God. And Lord. Work out! You've got to work! Work out! Gotta crucify the flesh! Go ahead, man! Lay down your pride! Go ahead! Work out! Glory! Work out! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! What is that? Work out! Hallelujah! Your own salvation! What did he say? Work out your own salvation! Work out! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Work out! Your own salvation! It's better! Hallelujah! <laughs> Hallelujah! That's the name of God! Hallelujah. Work out! Thank the Lord! What did he say? Work out your own salvation with fear Brother and Evans, trembling. The difference between the Old Testament Sabbath and the new. The old had them not stop working. For us to get that Sabbath now, work out. We gotta work. Gotta work. Are you listening? Amen. What did he say? Work out your own salvation. Come on, son. With fear and trembling. For it is God which worketh in you. Amen. Oh. What is it? For it is God which worketh in you. That's what got us so happy. Hallelujah. It is God. God which worketh in you. And we want God to Hallelujah. work in you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Finish up. For it is God which worketh in you. Yes, both, both to will. Both to will. And to do of his good pleasure. What? And both to will and to do of his good pleasure. All right. We got some good pleasure. Good pleasure. I want to advise you now to do. Amen. Give me Acts 2.38. Acts 2.38. Then Peter said unto them, repent and be Hallelujah. baptized. Hallelujah. Every oh, one of praise you. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. What did the Holy Ghost say to us? Then Peter said unto them, Repent. That's good pleasure. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. And be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. All right, you that are here. This is what God wants you to do. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. If you want to rest, a eternal Sabbath, I want to elevate you. From the law. Yeah. And bring you into grace and truth. That's right. That come by Jesus Christ. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. The Sabbath. That the Lord of the Sabbath offer us. Oh man, it's superior. Oh, yeah. To what they was doing in the old day. Amen. Peter says what? Then Peter said unto them, repent. All right, you that are here. Time to get on the Lord's side. Every sinner that's here. Man, woman, boy, girl, no matter who you are, this is for you. Then Peter said unto them, repent. When you repent, you're sorry for your sins. Then what? And be baptized. How? Every one of you. How much of Jamaica? Every one of you. How should it be done? In the name of Jesus Christ. Not Jesus' name. But in the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sin. That's how you get your sins washed away. That's right. 